Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We are gonna be eating whatever my boyfriend tells me to eat for the whole entire day. It can be a restaurant, fast food, his favorite items, whatever he's craving, like anything. We're just gonna call him throughout the day and ask him what I should go get. <laughs> so my boyfriend and I have similar taste palettes. We like all of the same foods pretty much. So this will be fun. He's definitely a foodie like me and I trust what he's gonna pick. And I really don't know what his favorite fast food menu items are because whenever we go through drive throughs he gets like a new thing all the time. He never gets like the same thing. So I really don't even know what his favorite items are. He kind of just likes everything. Like he's not too picky. So I don't know what he's going to choose, but I have a feeling it's going to be good. So let's see what he picks. And maybe next time he'll actually be in the car with me. But today we're going to call him. He's working. So we're going to just bother him and keep calling him. What's up, baby? Hey, babe. So today I'm filming a video and I'm going to have you pick out all of my foods for the entire day. So starting mm. with breakfast, what should I get? It could be your favorite thing, whatever you're craving right um, now. From anywhere, fast food or? Yeah, what fast about? food, restaurant, literally anywhere. Okay, go and get the famous French toast from Rini's. <laughs> the ultimate French toast? Yeah, our favorite. Okay. That's a good one. I knew you were going to pick that. Yeah, that's my favorite. Okay. Anything else? Um, maybe a side of sausage. Okay. Get, get the links, not the patty. Ooh, that's my man. <laughs> and then after that, down the road, pull into your favorite Starbucks <laughs> and get the shaken up oat milk espresso. <laughs> Okay, yay! The brown sugar shake and oat milk espresso. Yeah, and I know you'll enjoy all three sips. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy all of it because you're not going to be here to chug it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go get that all now. Thank you. Okay, so I just placed an order for this French toast. It's at a local diner. It's seriously the best French toast ever, and I'm not a huge, like, sweets person for breakfast, unless it's, like, a coffee. I like that to be very sweet. But French toast is never something I typically order when I go out to breakfast. And the one day we did go out to breakfast, my boyfriend ordered it, and he's like, trust me, you're gonna love it. And I'm like, I don't know. So I get the sausage, biscuits, and gravy, of course. He got the ultimate French toast. And I tried a bite of it and I was like, oh my gosh, I see exactly what you're saying. Like, this is the best French toast ever. So it's just at this cute little diner, very close by. We've been saying how we want to walk it. So I think next weekend, if we go to breakfast, we're going to walk it. It's probably like a mile there, a mile back. And we always see people from our neighborhood, like, walking back from this place with to-go boxes. So we would definitely want to walk here sometime. But yeah, the breakfast is so good. Okay, first, we are going to grab this coffee. Hi, can I just do one tall ice brown shake in oat milk espresso, please? Of course. What else for you? That's all. Alrighty, it's going to be 545. I will see you at the window. Thank okay, you so thank much. you. That sounded like an AI robot, kind of. Their replies were like so instant. <laughs> Was that a robot? There actually is this one Wendy's in Columbus, Ohio that has an AI robot drive through I've been wanting to go to it. Next time I make a trip there, I'll definitely stop there. Hi. Good. How are you today? Good. How about you? Good. good Thank you for asking. Hope that you have a good day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right. Now let's go pick up our French toast. Okay. Just went in and picked up the to-go order. It was thirteen dollars. Mmm. It smells so good. Let's see. Yum. So it's like egg French toast. I don't even know. Like. It has like a crispy coating, but it's so soft and gooey on the inside. It's like caramelized. I, I don't even know how to describe it. And then in the second box, I think there is eggs and sausage. Mmm, those are big sausage links. Oh my goodness. Sausage links are like my favorite breakfast food. I love sausage. Nothing is better. Then a greasy sausage link. So here is my boyfriend's choice on some breakfast. We should have got some syrup packets because I know he definitely would have wanted syrup packets. Like, we both love syrup. But let's give everything a try. So this is my favorite drink at Starbucks. So good. 
I like the tall size the best. So my boyfriend, Nolan, always loves to chug my Starbucks drinks when I get them. He's never like, oh, let's go get Starbucks. I usually am the one craving it. And then when I get it, he is like, can I take a sip? I'm like, yeah, you can have a sip. And then he's just like, just like chugging it and then whenever he's taking sips of it I'm like watching him with the corner of my eye and I'm like okay that's enough so then I started getting the medium size but the tall definitely tastes better like whatever ratios of cream and espresso they do I like the tall the best does anyone else like never finish their coffee either I always like leave a little bit at the bottom for some reason and then he's always like you're not gonna finish it anyway so like let me have some but I'm like the best is at the top you know like I want the first few sips Okay, let's try this French toast out. I'm almost really tempted to go in there and get some syrup packets. I'm gonna get some syrup. Okay, I just got back. I went in and got some syrup and butter because you can't have French toast without these things. Okay, we gotta be super careful because this could be a horrible sticky mess to clean up in a car just drench this there we go that looks much better mm. so good yeah it's like it tastes more eggy and it's very fluffy like it's like the texture of scrambled eggs I don't know whatever bread they're using I think is what's making like this taste so good Local breakfast spots are definitely the best. Mmm. -mm. So good. This breakfast, I would have to say, literally like 9 out of 10. It's all so good. So much flavor, but I do still like my biscuits and gravy better at this restaurant, but I love that stuff. Like, it's just so good. It gives me horrible heartburn, though, but it's worth it. <laughs> I already like this video better than doing ordering what the person in front of me orders because then I always get some food with no sauce. Okay, let's see what he picks for lunch. Hi, baby. Hello. All right, lunchtime. Breakfast was so good. Mmm. What should yeah, I get for lunch? Do you have any leftovers? I do. Okay. I saved you a sausage link. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> yep. Um, for lunch. For lunch, go to Subway and get the Italian BMT salad. A salad? I didn't even know you could yeah. get salads at Subway. Yeah, so actually you just order whatever sub you want, and instead of the bread, they turn it into a tossed salad. Italian BMT salad? Yeah, so get the Italian BMT salad. It's It has ham, pepperoni, and salami, and then everything else but the way that i get it is i always tell them no black olives of course mm -hmm. that's what i would do and, too and light tomato or sometimes i eliminate the tomato sometimes i say just a little tomato but other than that i get everything on it and dressing i do italian yeah do the italian for the dressing and you can add on another one if you want to add on something else. All right, that sounds good. My man All doesn't right, like man. bread. He loves his salads. I love Not a bread. big fan of bread. I love bread. But I'm excited to try a Subway salad because all their toppings are good on the subs. So just in a salad would be good. All right, well, thanks, babe. I'll let you know how it is. All right, I'm getting back to work. All right, bye. Okay, guys, I just went in and ordered that salad. And were they supposed to cut the meat up? <laughs> it's literally just a sandwich thrown into the bowl. But then he was like, what do you want on it? What toppings? I'm like, I don't know like what comes on it. Usually I just was like, give me everything but tomatoes and olives and then no pickles. I felt like that would be weird. And then they didn't have Italian dressing. So I got 
some Parmesan one. I have no clue. So this is the number 18. If I can get it open. Maybe I'll shake it up first. You would think they would like cut up the meat. I swear Nolan said on the phone that they cut up the meat. This is the Subway that I've been to before and when I was getting like every single topping on my sub, the worker was like, geez, lady, or whatever he said. <laughs> like, isn't that normal to get like a little bit of everything? I cannot get this lid open. Here it is, guys. I'm like about to rip up this meat myself. <laughs> literally gonna rip it up myself yeah the worker at this one is kind of like scary like when i ordered it i was like with no olives or tomatoes and he's like you gotta tell me that down there i'm gonna forget and make you a bad salad i'm like oh my gosh okay i'm sorry <laughs> so hard like ordering someone else's order because like i thought i just ordered like the bmt salad but no you have to like say what toppings you want on it ordering someone else's order is so difficult that's why i tried to do it on the app before but it wasn't letting me. Okay, salad from Subway. So we got jalapenos on here, cucumbers, banana peppers. Mm. Whatever dressing this is, it is really good. It's like the Parmesan one. So this is how my boyfriend likes his salads. Just a whole bunch of meat slapped on top. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely make something like this at home. Just throw like a bunch of sandwich toppings. So yeah, my boyfriend loves his salads. I'm not crazy about salad, but like a salad like this, like this is really good. I would definitely prefer this on bread though, for sure. But yeah, he loves salads. Like not even like to be healthy, like just cause he loves salads. I really like the salads you get at hibachi restaurants with like the ginger dressing. That salad, I love that. But I sometimes do make salads at home. I'll make like buffalo chicken salads or like chicken salad on salads with like cranberries and nuts. But yeah, did you guys know you could get a salad from Subway? I honestly did not. I've like never seen anyone get a salad from Subway. <laughs> Would you guys want to see more salad mukbangs? Are the crunches satisfying? I would like to do some more healthy mukbangs. I'm, like trying healthy fast food menu options or just like healthy cuisines or homemade too. This meal I'm gonna have to rate, sorry, probably like a five out of 10. The toppings are good and all. I like everything in it. The dressing is good. It's just lacking some bread for me. I would love this if this was on some Italian herbs and cheese bread with some mayonnaise and chipotle sauce. It just feels like it's missing something. But a five out of 10 is not horrible. It's just, I wouldn't get it again. But I would still eat it. So, five out of 10. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. How's it going? It's going. I just got to the post office. Oh, good. So, dinner time. What should I get? Um, hmm. I've been craving a bucket of KFC chicken. And <laughs> you have. Mainly, He's been talking about this for days. For, mainly for the skin. <laughs> I promise you guys, I did not tell him to say this. Okay, so a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't think I've ever ordered a whole bucket of chicken from there before. Well, get a small bucket. It'll just be for us, or you, and hopefully you have a few pieces left over for me. <laughs> okay, anything else? Do you want any sauces? Um, yeah, get a, get a variety of sauces. I'm really in it just for the chicken. Okay, so just the chicken. Just a bucket of chicken for dinner. Just a, just a good old bucket, honey. Honestly, though, like, I had a salad for lunch, so I'm fine with eating a whole bucket of chicken for dinner. It's all about balance. Yeah. It was a good balance today. Yeah. Hi, I have an online order for Stephanie. Great. Well, I had one again. Okay, thank you. He sounded like he had a country accent. Welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken. What chicken you picking? <laughs> Speaking of canes, 
slogans. I have not been to Cane's in months. I can't even tell you guys the last time I went. I used to always get Cane's whenever I'd get my nails done because the salon was right next to Cane's. Like, how could I not? But now I've been going to a new place to get my nails done. I like it a lot better. It's busier. They have music. They have TVs. There's a lot more going on. My last nail salon, like, didn't play music. Actually, maybe slightly. Like, really quiet. They played really quiet music and there was no TVs or anything, so it was just like extremely boring. My new salon plays music loud and has TVs, like they were playing the Olympics the last time I was in there getting my nails done. It's just like a lot more entertaining. And you can even do pedicures and get a glass of wine. Like how cool is that? That would be such a fun little like girls day. Go and get pedicures and a glass of wine. I feel like my friends and I are always on different nail schedules though, like we never go together. We can never like schedule time to go together. Okay, Hi. You're on the pickup order, right? Yes. Okay, they're working on it right now. Okay, perfect. So on the app, it was like, oh, 50% off or 40% off a bucket of chicken. I'm like, perfect. So I like redeem it, put it in my cart. I'm like, what a great deal. And then it's like, your location doesn't do this coupon. We're gonna use a little hand sanitizer since we are gonna be finger licking these chicken legs. <laughs> finger licking good, where is that? What's that slogan from? Finger licking good. It's like Quaker steak. Buffalo Wild Wings. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Here she is. Here she is. Do people count their pieces of chicken to make sure they got like the correct amount? Like would someone go back in and be like, I only got 11 pieces and I was supposed to get 12. They only gave me this amount of sauce for that whole entire bucket. I asked for so much sauce. I tell you, these places, like, it makes me think, are, like, the corporations watching my videos and they see, like, how many times they forget their sauce or do they do it on purpose so then they make more money and, like, don't give away so much sauce because they know if they give less sauce, most people are not going to go back through or go inside to get sauce. I feel like they might do it on purpose. Conspiracy video, Shane Dawson? Maybe, maybe try that one. Well, we only got the sticky chicky sauce. Sticky chicky? That honestly is not a very appetizing name for a sauce. Can I get the sticky chicky? <laughs> Ew. And then two packs of honey. That'll be enough for one piece of chicken. I feel like they do it on purpose. I really do. So this was my boyfriend's dinner request. <laughs> Bucket of chicken. Well guys, don't mind if I do. Mm. Look at that beauty. Let's put some honey on here. Here I am wearing white again. Like, why do I always wear white in my videos? No stains, though. So yummy. So I got a new shampoo and conditioner and I feel like it is just helping my hair so much. Every time I wash my hair, my hair feels so soft and good and very thick. I got the K18 shampoo and conditioner. I needed a few new makeup products so I did my Sephora order online and I was just like looking at everything else on the app and I saw that stuff and I've always wanted to try it. It's supposed to help like really damaged and dry hair. Do I get a pass to only eat the chicken skin since that's what he said? <laughs> I love the chicken skin. But yeah, I feel like it just feels so much healthier and my hair journey is making progress, I feel like. I washed my hair this morning and I did a rosemary hair oil mask last night overnight. I do it like once or twice a week. Ew. Why 
is this one guy just like walking around? He's staring at me. He's just like walking back and forth. Maybe he's on like his lunch break or something and just getting some steps in. But yeah, I feel like it's really helping my hair grow. I know it's still like very thin and stuff, but making progress and I feel like that K18 shampoo is like what I needed like a really hydrating shampoo so I do put heat on my hair a lot so let's try out this sauce sticky chicky sauce interesting it kind of tastes like ketchup but like ketchup syrup hmm I am not too crazy about that I love the KFC sauce that one kind of tastes like canes honestly though their chicken is just so good like you really don't even need sauce nice and juicy well you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video I think this was so much fun I think soon we are going to ask a bunch of influencers what I should eat for the day so let me know what you guys think about that video idea I think that would be a really fun series so comment down below if there's any influencer you want me to message and ask them to pick out my meal thank you all so much for watching today's video I will see you in the next one bye